Hey guys, and welcome back to G Can't Play. Uh, today, we got a pretty solid strategy for you, pretty basic one, um, nothing too fancy. We are just going to be aggressive. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to play across. So as you can see, we're going to play table minimum, which is $10 in this case. Uh, 12 and 8 on the 6. The reason we got the 12 and the on the 8 and the on the yeah 8 and the 6 is because of the way they pay out. It um, pays a complete bet. If you paid 10, it wouldn't be a complete bet. Um, so this is 64 across. And as I said, we're just going to be aggressive. So we are going to power press our bets. And just see if we can get a long roll and make a lot of money. Um, at some point, we need to choose to stop and um, collect because if we never collected, eventually a seven's going to come and we lose it all. So, you know, profit isn't profit until it hits your bankroll, until it hits your rack. So, yeah, we're just going to get aggressive. Hope to um, find something in the 20 spin region. Um, and that might be the choice for when we collect is spin number or roll number 20. That's when we'll regress back down and try again. But we'll see what happens. I'm um, going to start with the bets off. We're only going to play when the puck is on. Uh, and Dice let's are out. We're coming out. See what we can do. Five. Five is the point. Let me just turn off these. Sounds because uh, they can get a bit annoying after a while. There we go. Turn those ones off. Okay, so we're out the five. And seven out. Good start. Lose it all straight away. No issues though. We have a $1,500 bankroll. And our initial bid is only $64, so we should be well covered for the normal 10 shooters. There we go, 9. So 10 plays 14. We're going to throw in a dollar, and we're going to take this one up to 25. Okay, there's a 5. We're going to do the same on the other side. Throw in a dollar. Take it to 25. 10 pays 18. So in this case, we're going to throw in $2. We're going to take this up to 30. Um, and we're going to buy the 10. Okay, there we go. 12 pays 14. Um, so that'll take us to 26. So in this case, we want to throw in four dollars uh, we're going to take this one up to 30. we'll just wait for another point to be established before we do it and on the five let's go up to 30 there let's see if we keep this roll going there we go eight 30 plays at 35 so that'll take us to 65. Um, and we should probably start thinking about, uh, well, there's a 9, so 25 pays 35. So that takes us to 60. Um, maybe we'll, if we can get to a black chip, maybe we collect the first black chip. That could be a deal. Okay, so that pays 14, so we want to go up to 30 there. We want a couple, we want a six or an, we want an eight or a nine. That's what we're looking for. There's the eight. So 65 pays 75. So we now need to start doing some maths. So that is 140. So 140. So what'll happen is if we hit the eight again, we'll click that one and then we'll go back to pressing. So what we really want to see now is a repeater 8, because that'll be very good. 
that'll definitely cover our bets for the day. Uh, we're currently up 219 on this shooter. Now I will say at this point, uh, the point of this video is just to be aggressive and see how far we can push it. Uh, I'm obviously not playing with real money, but if I was, then I would have collected at some point. Uh, I think one of the best ways to play is to get out of the hand. So say we started 64 across, try and collect $64 worth of um, bets. So that way you're out of the hand and then you can be aggressive. And even if you do end up losing, you haven't lost any money overall because you were, you were out of the hand and you're playing with the casino's money. Uh, that's not the case here because uh, that's not the point of the challenge, not point of the video. But let's see. Okay, 10. 30 pays 60, so this one's going up to 90. So we can put two of those on, and there we go. Okay, let's see. We want to get that 8. And there's the 7. So we built it up pretty well. Obviously, that 7 came. We will we roll number 12. We want to see rolls in the 20s. That'll uh, end up being very profitable for us. And we're going to go through about 10 shooters and see if we can catch one of those long, ro long rolls. Um, I'd consider that a long roll. You know, 12 is pretty good. We would have made a um, decent little profit if we'd played sensibly. But that's not what we're here for. So let's see what we can do. Okay, another seven. We're down a couple hundred dollars so far. Um, and I think that is going to be common with this sort of strategy where you're just getting very aggressive. Okay, six, 12 plus 14. Throw in four dollars. We take this up to 30. Let's see if we can get a repeater on the six. Two, one, three. That does nothing for us. Let's go again. Lovely, another six. We like to see that. 30 plays 35, so now we're up to 65. One more six, that'd be great. That'll get us to the black already. There we go. 65 plays 75. Um, so as you can see, they are 175. So if you're playing real money, that's where you might want to collect because we're now out of the hand. We started 64. We take that 75. 64 plus the four dollars we threw in initially to build it up. So we're 68, 75. So even if a seven came now, if we collect that, then we would be up. Uh, not a lot, seven dollars, but we'd still be up. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to 140. And then we'll collect this one if it does come through. If we can get another six on the trot. No, we're going to the eight. We're going to start building up some other numbers. Throw on another four dollars. Go to thirty. See if we can get a good roll going. There we go. Six. Yeah, one forty pays one sixty-three. We like to take that, and we'll we'll collect that one. And now we're going to keep pushing that six up. Okay, ten pays eighteen. Throw in two dollars and we'll go up to thirty on this one. Eight. See so playing thirty-five. Go to sixty-five. I'll get one on there. There we go. Let's get another eight. Be nice. Your eleven. Not going to do anything for us, but won't hurt us either. And there's a seven out. Okay, that's okay. We made some money on that one. We're back up. A decent amount of money, which is nice. We um, took that 163 in profit. So we made almost $100 there. 11 rolls, so that wasn't a bad one either. Seven out. The point sevens are what we don't want to see. Twelve. Uh, 
7, we don't mind seeing the 7 now because the puck is off and we don't have any bets out there, so that's okay. But let's see if we can get this point established. 12 craps. Let's go. There we go, out of the 9. 64 across, and let's see what we can do here. 10, wouldn't mind a lot of 10s. That'll go up very nicely. So we throw in $2. No, not going to happen. We may have used our long roll luck with the um, 12 and the 11. Obviously, you can have a lot shorter ones, as you can see here. Uh, but I have seen much longer rolls as well. I've seen rolls of 20, 30-odd numbers so that's what we really want to see here um, and you will find that most strategies will be winning strategies if you're able to roll that long out unless you're playing against okay that's a good start a couple of sixes already up to 65 uh, if you wanted to keep your bets as they say complete bets you could just go up to 60 and take five dollars but we're investing everything we have, um, and we're not super concerned with complete bets because obviously this is an electronic system and it calculates it itself. We don't have to worry about a dealer getting annoyed with us. It's a nine. Okay, throw in a dollar, we take that one to 25. Another eight, lovely. We'll get that one to 65. See if we get some more sixes and more eights. That'd be nice. Ten. Take that one up to 30. Another nine. So 25 plays 35. So this one goes up to 60. Oops, I don't know why I took it down. Okay, there we go. Lovely. 60 pays 84. So we're going to do some more maths. So that goes to 144. Oops, let's just take that down. 144. Uh, we'll throw in a dollar and make it 145. Okay, we want to set up the 9. Then we'll be able to collect that one. Nope, gonna take it all away. That's okay. We're up to shooter number eight now. We've had a couple where we've got it pretty high. Um, obviously, we weren't able to take advantage of it except for that one time. Um, and it looks like, yeah, sort of when you get to that sort of 10, 11 rolls, uh, that's when you tend to be at that point where, from this stage at least, um, you're up to a black chip. On the table. Another point seven. We've had a few of those as well. Shooter number nine now, so we're almost done. We're going through ten. Down on the five. Sixty-four across. Let's see if we get something on these last couple of shooters. Not this one. Okay, we're up to our last shooter now. Our last hope. We're down about five hundred dollars. So we're going to need to get a few of those numbers up to the black level if we are going to come out positive on this one. Okay, let's see. So we just hammer that six. Ten, we'll take it. And it doesn't take too many hits to get up there. Um, you hit it three times. And you're in that black black zone. But um, obviously the average is that you're going to hit that is a lot lower. Most strategies to be relatively successful, you want to be two hits out of the hand. 
Two one three doesn't help us there. Oh, there we go. Hit the point. Twelve place fourteen. We'll establish a new point. And on six, and we'll pop this one back up to thirty. Going all right so far. And that will do it. Um, so, not very successful then. We lost $535 on that one. Um, there was only one that we ended up cashing for 163 Obviously, we were relying on long rolls to try and make any money in the strategy because that was the goal, was just to be aggressive and to push as far as we can. Unfortunately, we didn't get into that sort of 20 roll area. If we'd gotten that far, then I think we would have been in for some crazy money. Uh, but what I might do is um, just sort of play this strategy every now and then. I'll release a new video where we do this strategy of just playing across and, and being aggressive and seeing if we can catch one of those long rolls in one of the videos so that you guys can see it and um, see how far we can get with that. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, with this video, we were just playing 64 across, being aggressive and seeing how far we could get. We had a couple of black chips out on the board, uh, but unfortunately those sevens came and, and we couldn't take it any further. But as I said, thanks for tuning in. Catch you later, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.